Originally, the Young Quartet came to Eastman because we all were at a point in our lives where we were looking for a place to continue our musical studies. Well, Eastman was definitely the beginning. We all came to Eastman for our own individual reasons. And once we were all here together, as I said, it, obviously it occurred to us that we had the correct instruments to play in a string quartet. The original group membership was that my three brothers and myself, so that's Timothy, uh, Philip, and David. It's sometimes hard to uh, describe because it started pretty much um, when I was studying in school and has just gone steadily from that time. Um, so I don't really have anything else to compare it to. Playing with my siblings in, in some ways is, is difficult to talk about because I've never played in a professional string quartet with anybody besides them until playing with Frank and Ayano in recent years, especially Ayano. When we first sit down with Ayano five years ago, we were guaranteed that something's going to happen that we don't expect. When I knew that Ayano was going to join us, um, I was definitely looking forward to it a lot. Just the whole process of getting to know someone and seeing how your, your personalities fit together, um, just how you interact. That, that seemed more unified to me. What struck me in the beginning is that, well, they've been playing for 20 years, and I joined you guys, and I think I was struck by how smooth you run everything. So I was like, oh, well, I can just come in and play the notes. Like, and it was very, very easy to fit in. I mean, the process is always interesting because you learn so much uh, yourself about your own playing, um, but then just uh, how that applies to music as a whole. Anytime there's like a reset, it just allows you to rethink things that you may have ordinarily taken for granted, that you maybe didn't even realize you were taking for granted. I know that I've felt in changing to Ayano, uh, when we first started playing especially, I, I felt like I was in high school again, um, playing these pieces for the first time and going, wow, this is an amazing feeling, being in a string quartet for the first time. She's a really strong and committed player, so it's always clear what sort of musical ideas that she's bringing across. I think we have a tendency to be late on that second beat. Uh -huh. The second quarter? Yeah, the second beat, yeah. Okay. It's always a, a process of figuring out, well, here's the idea, and then how can we do it? You three have such a bond. A lot of history. Yeah, yeah, and you know how you think, you talk to each other all the time. It was very different to come in. Um, but I think making music is about the music, yeah. and so I think we're musical colleagues first. You were saying that the two opening gestures seemed too hesitant? No, 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 it was interesting to do it that way. You spend hours and hours together every day. It's like a small, intense work group that never changes. It's been great uh, the last five years with Ayano. Uh, she's turned out to be a person of great integrity, musically and personally, and it's been very easy to grow with her. Some of the beauty of being a musician is built into its sort of transience. The fact that it's an ephemeral art, a performance only exists for a moment. The way I made this one note only exists for that moment. And that's kind of its beauty too. It helps you appreciate life in a way. Transition's hard because it's transition and uncertainty. There are times in a string quartet that you talk. So there's always conversations going on, and, and it was in one of those that Ayano said, I, I need to talk about something that's on my mind. I'm at a place in my life where I, I feel like I, I need to move on. There's other places that I want to go. There's other things I need to do. It's hard. It was really hard. You feel like the wind is knocked out of you a little bit. I think we've grown a lot, and I like where we are. So it's it's sad, you know. It's, it's but on the other hand, quartet only works if it's a all for one, one for all.
I gotta remind myself, this is amazing, this is a special thing. These four people in a room, these three people with me, making the music in this totally committed and passionate way, that's something to, to treasure. And it's not meant to be permanent. It's meant to be these moments. And there are more of them in the future, too. I guess the, uh, when you're looking at transition, I try to take a positive viewpoint and just kind of treasure that all the things that were great that happened and all the enjoyable times. I hope that our music making continues to have a lot of vitality. I think that people will continue to connect with, with that sense of communication. I like what we've done, I like where we are, but it's, um, it's life, it's growing, it's always journeying. Maybe that's the one regret that I have, that yeah, maybe we've come to a great place after five years, but like maybe if I had stayed for another five, like we would have kept growing and yeah. kept getting better. Hopefully, <laughs> you, know, you never know. But <laughs> I think so. Hopefully, and yeah. so we'll never hear that. Like yeah. that's yeah. that's sad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but it's well, fun. we could meet yeah. up with you in five more years. <laughs> <laughs> see what, see we'll what happens. A, we'll have a Beatles reunion or something. <laughs> <laughs>